have been working remotely from home for the last three years, which meant I rarely needed a big backpack to carry my laptop and other work-related items. And even now that I go back to an office from time to time, I like to reduce the load that I'm taking with me. That is why I really enjoy sub-20 liter capacity backpacks. In this list, I want to show you some of my favorite and slash or noteworthy small backpacks. Before I start this list, let's just go over why I love sub 20 liter backpacks. With most items, most of us love to get the biggest version. But with bags, this also means that we are more likely to overpack and bring items we probably do not need. So choosing a smaller bag will force us to think harder about what we really need to bring. For work, these sub 20 liter bags are perfect. Obviously, you could also use a smaller messenger bag. However, I personally do not like the one-sided weight distribution on just one of my shoulders. Furthermore, any messenger bag bigger than 9 liters just tends to slide all over the place for me personally. That is why I prefer backpacks. For most of these bags, I have separate videos, that is why I won't go too much into detail. If you want to check out more details, I will put the videos in the description below. Plus, there will be an affiliate link for some of the bags, if you consider getting one of the bags. That way, you don't pay more, but you will support the channel with a small kickback of that sale. We start with a bag that I have owned the longest of all of these sub 20 liter backpacks. This is the Gorok Bullet. As some of you might remember, my channel started with the Gorok GR0, and that bag always has had a lot of emotional value to me. But it is also very heavy and big due to its heavy duty build and size. So back then I always wanted a smaller version of that bag, which is why I bought the Bullet. This 10 liter Bullet version has been changed a lot over the years. So as far as I know, this iteration of the Bullet is not available anymore. So in this version you have the slanted front access pocket, a main compartment and a back hydration pocket. You can carry enough items to get you over the day. That being said, this version can't carry a laptop due to its narrow width and shape. Furthermore, the bottom is not padded at all. In other words, this bag isn't that great to protect your electronic or fragile items if you drop it a bit carelessly on the floor. But this bag is built like a tank and can withstand a beating. And with its heavy duty build and look, you probably won't carry this into an office. Still, it is one of my favorite bags for day trips that has a capacity of 10 liters and can carry my essentials for that day. If you want a backpack for the office though, then the Air Pro Pack Slim might be the right choice for you. This bag looks very streamlined, maybe to a degree a bit, yeah, boring and maybe too toned down, but this might be perfect for anyone who needs to wear official office attire and needs the bag to fit that outfit. While the Air Pro Pack Slim is not as rugged as the Gorok Bullet, it is still very well made and uses some high quality materials. Despite the 12.5 liters capacity, you can easily fit a 16 inch laptop plus all of your work essentials that you can either store in the main compartment or organize in the front admin panel. If you need to go on a business trip, there is a luggage pass through to attach the bag to the handle of a rolling case. I really like the slim and shallow form factor and while I think this is probably the best recommendation for most business people or for an office bag, I have to admit to my eyes it looks a little bit yeah, bland compared to some of the other bags in this list. If you want something that looks a little bit apart and yeah, dare I say it, a little bit hipster, <laughs> then take a look at the Wakes Daypack Mini. This is an 8 to 12 liter expandable backpack with a roll top opening. It's made out of recycled materials, which I really love. While you can expand and open the bag via the roll top, you also have a zipper to open up the top loading main compartment if you just don't want to fiddle around with the roll top. Inside you have a slot for a 13 inch laptop and a couple of slots and compartments. This bag has a very natural and maybe tight timeless design, but I can see that this might not be for everyone. So if you want something, let's say more technical or cool looking, but still want a roll top opening with some expandability, and you might also want the option to carry a camera or technical gear that needs some more padding, then the Wandered Provoke Lite might be your choice. The bigger Wandered Provoke was and still is my favorite camera bag. Watch the review up here. This is the smallest version of the Provoke series with a capacity of 11 to 16 liters. It has a laptop slot that can barely fit my 15 inch MacBook Pro, but I would recommend to consider this a 13 inch laptop slot. 
Opposed to the bigger version, this Provoke Lite has a built-in non-removable padded camera area. You can remove all of the padded dividers to create a bigger main compartment, but all of the surrounding padding is always in there. Furthermore, due to its size, this is predominantly for smaller cameras like the Sony A6300 series for instance. You can store bigger cameras, but depending on your setup, you might need to detach the lens. While there is a lot of padding, it doesn't take away too much of the internal volume. And you always can be rest assured that any item inside will be well protected. This video is supported by advertisement of carefully curated brands that I have used, reviewed or trust myself. And my OrbitKey key organizer is one of the items that I have been carrying in my everyday carry 24-7 for years. This video is all about bags that you carry for work and with that, how you want to organize some of your essentials in your bag but also when you move to your desk. For that, the OrbitKey Nest is a great portable and customizable desk organizer that even has a built-in wireless charger for your phone. You can customize the inner storage for your essentials with these movable dividers and once you arrive at your work desk, just place it on your desk to have those essentials near from SSDs to cables, chargers and everything in between. The Nest keeps it all inside for a clutter-free desk while you charge your phone on top of the Nest. Also, I've been using OrbitKey's key organizers for a number of years. It's great at keeping all of my keys nice and organized in a neat silent stack so that you get no more key jingle. Plus, on the D-ring, you can attach a cuff hop if you like with their Ring V2 that finally prevents broken fingernails because you just pull and rotate the quick release to attach or detach your keys like this. So check out OrbitKey with the links below to organize your everyday carry essentials. And be sure to use my discount code BOISMONO for 10% off the ecosystem at checkout. If you want something more akin of a travel backpack or that can assist you in combination with a bigger travel bag, then the Gravel Daily 11 liters might be the right choice for you. This is a 11 liter backpack with a clamshell opening, hence the nod in regards to a travel bag. A clamshell opening always allows you to more easily pack and unpack a backpack. You have a 15-inch laptop slot and an organizer panel for all of your work essentials. This is all in addition to the main compartment, which is great for more items or even can be used for a small trip. But if you carry a different bag for a trip, you can modify this bag to briefcase or tote mode, making this a very versatile bag. Not only can you use this bag for work, but also easily as an additional bag to your bigger travel bag. While this is a high quality bag that is very well made compared to all of the other bags and some points of the bag, for instance this slot, this bag feels the least rugged at least in some points or areas of the bag. I have not tested this next bag yet. I just got this bag a week ago and I have not used it yet at all. But I feel like this bag fits this list, although with 20 liters capacity, it also just barely makes this list. This is the Bellroy Via. Despite it being the biggest just by the volume number, it feels very streamlined and not necessarily like any other 20 liter bags in terms of overall bulk and size. Bellroy bags always have a very office friendly look and feature layout. That being said, just like the Air, it looks a little bit, yeah, again, boring. It, maybe boring is a little bit too harsh. It's just very toned down and minimal. But that might be exactly what you're looking for because it needs to fit your office attire and the whole professional vibe of your office. You have a flap down opening that gives you access to the main compartment with a 16 inch laptop slot and a zippered pocket for small items and a glasses pocket on the top that I would use as a quick access pocket. But that's basically it. For me personally, that's a bit of a letdown. I kind of wish that there would have been another front pocket. But having less pockets outside adds to the streamlined and professional look of the Via that some of you probably prefer. All of these bags are great and serve their specific purpose, but all of them are great for EDC use and the office. Okay, maybe not the Gorok, <laughs> I wouldn't use that for the office, but it is a great EDC bag nevertheless. So when it comes down to my personal choice of these bags, I would use the Gorok if it's only for casual EDC. However, I prefer an item to be more versatile. So I would either go with the Wanted Provoke Light because it is great for work or casual walking around in the city, plus can be a regular or a camera bag. 
Or I would go with the Gravel Daily because it is very versatile for ADC, office or even travel use. If it would only be a work bag then probably I would go with the Air as my personal choice for work. So out of all of these bags which one would you choose? Let me know in the comment section below and if you consider buying one of these bags please use one of the affiliate links below. With that link you won't pay more but you will support the channel with a small kickback of that sale. And if you have any more questions you know, we always enjoy coming to Carol's. Let's tell them. But, oh, excuse me, who's the boss? Definitely not you. You know why? Because you are not subscribed. You want these pancakes? You can't. Why? Because you did not hit the bell icon. Want these weird looking hot dogs? No, you can't, because you didn't like the video. So subscribe and push the notification bell and yeah, also like the video. Here at, I don't know what the store is called. Also check out my Instagram, second channel and podcast at you know the boat. Stay safe and healthy everyone and I'll see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.